Hey, it's Norbert Orlowitz here back again with another video for you and this one's gonna be a good one. In this video, I'm gonna show you how getting traffic is actually very, very easy. I'm gonna solve the traffic problem for you once and for all. I'm also going to bust one of the most dangerous common internet marketing and traffic generating beliefs that is right now killing your chances of making money in your business. So the goal of this video is very simple. I'm going to show you that getting traffic is easy and I'm going to show you how you can generate unlimited traffic to your business and create some serious profits. So there's really two types of traffic online. You've got organic traffic and you've got paid traffic. Now organic traffic is things like SEO blogging, video marketing, writing articles, guest posts, podcasting, any type of strategy where you're creating content. And typically, these strategies are thought of as being free strategies because you're not paying for advertising. You're just you're creating content and engaging and building an audience organically. Now, the other form of traffic is paid traffic. Things like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google, Yahoo, Bing ads, Twitter ads, any type of pay-per-view, cost per acquisition, CPA, or pay-per-click, PPC type of ads through any of the multitude of ad networks. So this is where you are paying money to have your ads shown to a specific target market or audience. Now, there's benefits and drawbacks to both. Uh, ideally, you want to use a mixture of both marketing strategies, but there's definitely some huge benefits to paid traffic over organic. And one of the big ones is instant traffic. So if you wanna create traffic to your website, you wanna increase revenue and sales, the quickest, easiest, most efficient way to do that is through paid marketing. Organic traffic strategies typically take an investment of time. So this is one of the big myths that I want to shatter here today is thinking that there's anything called free traffic. There's really no such thing as free traffic because even if you're not paying for the advertising specifically, you're investing a lot of time and energy creating content to acquire traffic months down the road. And sometimes it can take you months uh, to acquire any real, any significant amount of traffic through the organic strategies. I'm not saying you shouldn't do one or the other. However, it's really important to understand the benefits and drawbacks of each. So our goal is to help you create results in your business as quickly as possible. And that's why we focus a lot initially on getting up and running with paid traffic. Now, let me shatter what you're thinking right now, one of the most dangerous beliefs that is that holds back the majority of aspiring online marketers. And this is it right here. And you can tell me if you believe this as well. If you've ever said this, Paid traffic just costs too much. I just don't have the budget. So for now, I'm just gonna focus on free traffic strategies. If you've ever thought this, if you believe this right now, this is one of the most dangerous beliefs that is costing you success in your business. And you're going to spend a lot of time and energy trying out these free marketing strategies, trying to build free traffic through content marketing, and it might take you months, if not years, to create the kind of traffic to actually see any sales and results. So what I wanna show you guys today is that this is an absolutely false belief because the truth is that paid traffic should never cost you a dime, okay? This is what you need to understand. This is what all of the top highest paid earning marketers online understand. This is what we understand. So let's get into it here. Let's just walk through the basic structure of a paid marketing uh, sales funnel here. So step number one, you post up an ad and we're gonna be acquiring clicks. You're most likely going to be paying for clicks. So let's just assume, we're gonna make a bunch of assumptions here, but later on in the calculator, in the document, you'll be able to play around with these calculations and make them more accurate um, to your particular situation. But let's just use these rough numbers here. I'm gonna estimate 50 cents a click. Now, some of you might be able to get 25 cents a click, some of you might pay up to a dollar a click, but let's just go with 50 cents a click and we've got a thousand dollar ad budget to spend. So at a thousand dollars and 50 cents a click, that's gonna create 2,000 clicks or 2,000 visitors to our landing page, our opt-in page. So we're gonna send that traffic from the ad to an opt-in page where we're going to uh, generate some leads, some opt-ins. Now, let's use a very conservative estimate of 25% opt-in conversion to leads. 
Now, some of you might be able to get 35, 45, even above 50% opt-in on Facebook if your ads are very targeted, if the messaging is very targeted. But let's go with a very low conservative number of a uh, 25% opt-in. So that's gonna give us 500 leads off of those 2,000 visitors. So it's gonna cost us roughly about $2 per lead, okay? So that's step number one. We're now building our list. We're generating leads, two bucks a lead. We've got 500 leads after spending $1,000 on advertising. Now, of course, in our sales funnel, we're gonna make our first offer. And typically, the first offer that you try to sell is something low priced, low entry product, you know, $19, $29, $39, $49, $59 dollar type of a product. So out of those 500 leads, let's assume a 5% sales conversion from the 500 leads at the $39 product. 5% sales conversion is gonna give us 25 of those sales, which is a total revenue of $975. Now, what do you notice here? Already, we are almost at break even. Just on our first offer, our first product at $39, we're just $25 off of our ad spend, okay? So we've almost broken even already on our first offer, but we're not done, done yet because we're gonna make a second offer. Now, this gentleman that I was coaching, He's got a digital training course that he's just finishing up. He's gonna be selling that course for $197. So this is his second offer. Now he can use that as an OTO, as an upsell in the sales funnel, or maybe in the follow-up in his email messaging, he can sell this course. However, he structures that technically. So now his second offer is $197. Let's assume that from those 25 sales, let's assume that we've got this as a an upsell in the sales funnel. And let's assume that from those 25 initial sales, he's going to generate a 15% upsell conversion to his second product, which is a $197 product. So he's gonna make roughly 3.75 sales of the $197 product. Let's just round that up to four sales to give us an even number. So we're gonna generate $788 in revenue on that second offer. We're not done just yet because he's got a third offer, which is a coaching program that he offers, and this third offer sells for $497. Now this is a very simple coaching program that he's put together. It didn't take him a lot of extra energy to do this. He's simply taking the people that are already purchasing, the customers, he's giving them an opportunity to get more access to him through coaching. So this group coaching that he's gonna sell is $497. Now let's assume we are just basing it off the 25 customers that we've created so far. Let's assume that we've got a 5% upsell conversion rate from the 25 customers that we've generated. So let's assume that we can make one sale um, upsell to this group coaching from those 25 sales. Just one sale at 497 gives us an additional $497 of revenue here. So what do we have? Well, we've got a total ad spend of $1,000. We've got total sales revenue right now of $2,260. Now, what you need to consider here is this is just the initial customer value. This is just the initial sales funnel of people coming into this funnel, purchasing that first product and upselling to the two additional products. Now he's got 500 leads on his email database. Only 25 of those people have purchased. So there's a very good chance that in the follow-up over the next few weeks and the next few months, as he grows that list of leads, as he grows his email database, he'll be able to sell to some of those people that have not bought yet. So there's gonna be additional revenue that's going to come in from this marketing strategy. We are just calculating the initial money that he's going to make upfront right now through this sales funnel, okay? So right now, as it stands, we've got a total profit of $1,260 using this very conservative example. So let me ask you again, how much did his advertising cost him? How much did it cost, okay? He spent $1,000 but the cost, there's no cost. He actually made a profit. He made a profit of $1,260. He doubled, more than doubled his initial investment. So if you knew, if you had a machine that you could insert a dollar bill into and that machine would spit out $2 for you, how many dollar bills would you put into the machine? <laughs> The answer is as many as I could possibly find, right? So this is exactly what we've created here. A sales funnel creates a printing machine for you. That's the way you gotta see it. At this point, there is no traffic problem because putting up Facebook ads is very simple.
once you've created one of these things, your entire focus simply goes towards optimizing this, increasing the opt-in rate a little bit, increasing the sales rate a little bit, increasing the conversion rates, dropping your cost per click, dropping your cost per lead, and all of a sudden you can increase these profits even more. And don't forget that at the same time, you're building your email list, which is a future asset, which you'll be able to sell additional products to in the future. Now, this is one example, and this is a more complicated sales funnel example where we're selling three different products. What if you don't have that yet? Well, let's take a much simpler example here. Let's say you have no digital products at this point, but you can put together a group coaching program that you could sell on a webinar. Okay, very simple. You don't have any products at this point. Let's make this really, really simple. Again, we're going to start on Facebook. We're going to put up some ads. We've got a thousand dollar ad spend. Let's again assume that we're paying about 50 cents per click. It's going to give us 2000 clicks for visitors. Now, usually webinar registration um, will convert at a lower rate than a simple opt-in page. But simple opt-in pages, again, can convert at 35, 45, 50% on Facebook if you're nice and targeted. So I'm going to keep this 25% opt-in. So let's assume that we get 500 registrations for our webinar at our $1,000 ad spend. Now, we know that all 500 people are not going to show up to the webinar. So let's take a very conservative 35% show up rate, okay? Let's assume that only 35% of those people who register show up to our webinar. So we've got 175 people in attendance when we hold our webinar. Now on that webinar, we're gonna sell our coaching offer, our group coaching offer for $497. And let's assume that we have a very low 5% sales conversion on that webinar. Now on webinars, you know, some people can sell 20%, 25% sales conversion. A 10% sales conversion is, is usually a good standard to go by, but let's go really low. Let's say this is one of the first webinars you've done. You haven't done a lot of these and you only can convert 5% of the people. So that's going to create nine sales for you. Those nine sales are going to create $4,473 of upfront revenue from that webinar. Now, of course, we're not going to stop there because again, for all the people that did not purchase, you now have 500 leads in your email database. And of course, at some point you're going to follow up and sell them additional products. So additionally, beyond these initial sales on the webinar, you know, additionally, what you would like to do is create some follow-up offers, whether you're selling affiliate products or, or you create your own products, you know, let's say that down the road, you're going to offer a $97 product and just 3% of those 500 leads purchase that that's an additional 15 sales. Now you've got an additional $1,455 that you created from all of this marketing as well. But let's not even count that. Let's say right now we don't have any additional offers. What we've got here just with the webinar is a total ad spend of a thousand dollars. We've got total sales just on the webinar of $4,473, and we've just created a profit for ourselves of $3,473. Now, could you do two of these webinars a month? Absolutely, you could do two of these webinars a month. Now you've just increased your profit to $6,946. Now, of course, all of these examples are just theoretical. This is just a theoretical example, but you can see you can play around with all of these numbers. These are very realistic numbers. I've actually lowballed and I'm being pretty conservative on some of these numbers as well. But what I'm showing you here is the quickest, easiest, most efficient way to generate revenue in your business. Now I got to ask you, are you doing this in your business? And if you're not, what are you going to do about it? This is the reason why we're holding this webinar coming up is to assist as many people as we can to help you set one of these funnels up. Now you can go really simple for your first funnel and we highly encourage you that you do that. The most important thing is you, that you get the first version of something like this created so then you can optimize and improve it. But honestly, there's no sense in spending any more time creating blog posts, creating videos, being on social media if you don't have one of these created. You need to make money in your business and I've just shown you very clearly how creating a sales funnel is the most efficient way to create actual revenue and profits in your business as quickly as possible. We're going to show you how to do this in 60 days or less. So I hope that you can absolutely see the value and the necessity of why you need to focus all of your time and energy right now to create for yourself a real sales funnel and sell some of your own offers or other people's offers. This is your quickest, 
easiest, most efficient way to generate results and sales in your business right now. So I invite you, join us for our upcoming webinar. Again, we're gonna walk you step by step through this process walk you through the cheat sheet that we've got for you, show you all the steps in the process and how we're going to help you to simplify this process and help you actually execute and complete this in the next 60 days. I look forward to seeing you on the webinar.